Howdy there folks, this is Apidary Dave. And today I will be carving a piece of petrified or fossilized wood for you folks. All of this material here is fossilized or petrified wood. I'm not 100% sure of the difference. A lot of this stuff here, these tumbles come from New Mexico, which is really cool. I did a lot of these, and I collect a lot of these from old, -timer, old timers who tumble these around the area. But I, I love this stuff. I'm surprised I don't know the difference between petrified and fossilized wood, or even if there is a difference. I have carved it in the past. One of my most favorite pieces I've ever worked was a piece of this yellow material here. It has some red, and uh, yeah. Extremely hard. One of the roughest materials I've ever carved in my days. But the piece I will be working today is this beautiful piece here. Sorry, I can't get it any more darker in color for you folks. I forgot to bring some water. I was using the last little bit in my cup. I got this piece from the Albuquerque Gem Show, and it was sold to me by. Coral's Creations out of Los Lunas, New Mexico. Fantastic material. You can just see the different colors and grains. I doubt that's the original color, but it totally reminds me of ebony. The white and whatnot, as well as some other woods. I love that red right there. This is the piece I will be working. I drew on it just a little bit. You see there? Just to get my mind's eye working. Um, these two pieces I also got from the Albuquerque Gem Show. I remember I bought this one from a different old timer right at the entrance where I walked in from. He um, cut and tumbled this bad girl. Fantastic. And for 50 cents, you can't go wrong. Beautiful, beautiful piece of art from nature. It's a little bit of a tag there from when it was cut and it broke off on a saw, but that's fine for 50 cents. Are you kidding me? Can't even get a drink for that. At least here in the States, hardly. This is my most favorite piece. This is the piece I was going to carve, but um, changed my mind. This piece, I have no idea where this wood is from, or almost anything else besides a lot of this Mexican material. But it reminds me a lot of maple. And look at that bark on the side, or whatever that is. It's so fantastic, it looks artificial. This is too awesome. This is going to be a knife handle for sure, and I'll match another stone on the other side, or it will just be one side, and the other side I might leave silver or something. But this is fantastic material. I don't know what it used to be. That was more or less. It almost looks like 25 cents or something. But, um... When I bought it, it was being sold for 50 cents, so that is fantastic. That's why you should buy from Mom and Pop, by the way, when you can. They remember when a buck was still silver, and 50 cents is tender to them, that's for sure. Nice. Anyway, so I haven't carved um, a traditional piece of fossilized or petrified wood yet here on Lapidary Time. Um, I have carved um, these petrified bogwoods, though. These almost don't count, in my opinion, because of how much softer they are than um, traditional petrified or fossilized wood. See the little ducks playing in the pond there? Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful pieces. Much softer, around a five, maybe pushing six, where... The, this, this other cut of petrified wood is much, much harder. I'm thinking um, pushing seven. So I've done this on um, YouTube and Facebook, but never like a proper, just plain Jane petrified wood. That maybe, or, you know, just something you might see more often than the bogwood stuff, you know what I mean. So it's going to be fun. I wish I had my most favorite piece to show you folks. It was in the shape of a ribbon. I miss it a lot. I don't remember what happened to it, but 
That's fine. I'm going to get on to carving this material. I'm going to kind of try to keep this point as the tip. There's some fantastic color up there. I'd like to try to keep a little bit of that. And then round that off there. Let's see what happens. All right, folks. I'm going to shape this beautiful piece of petrified wood up and take out just a little bit of the saw marks and replace it with some 180 scratches. Alright folks, here's that beautiful piece of petrified or fossilized wood. Looking absolutely fantastic. It wants to dry up real quick. Super thirsty stone. Stunning. I'm going to take this to the easy cab, lick it with 280, then I'm going to drill it. It's going to be very interesting because this is one tough stone. I did spare some of the blonde looking material up there. I'm very happy about that. Fantastic. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would because my laps are well used. Anyway, on to the easy cat. Alright folks, I'm going to lick this sweetheart up with 280 grit before I hop on over there and drill this sweetheart. I'm going to lick the back. Knock off those rough edges there. Oh yeah. Alright folks, here's that beautiful piece of wood. I'm being real careful. Alright folks, here's that beautiful piece of petrified wood. I'm being real careful not to remove the rest of that blonde part right there. It's my favorite spot. I um, took some of the facets off of the cab side and slightly rounded the back so there wasn't so much of an edge. Dry it off for you folks right now so that you can see what she looks like dry. This is such a tough material that it's quite colorful even at um, such a coarse grit. I could easily lick this with some compound and uh, be done with it. And it would shine right up. But I won't. So let's drill this, get back, take it 6,000 through 3,000, burnish it up, and take it inside. All right, folks, I'm over here where I'm going to be drilling. I'm going to be using this here cordless Dremel lithium ion thingy. I roughly marked where I'm going to be licking it. I'm going to start with a rounded burr, of course. Check out my video on how I've been drilling lately. It's a lot of fun. All right, folks, there's the hole. Looking real nice. I'm going to take this back over to the easy cab. Look at it at 280 for a second. Then hop over to 600, 1200, um, and 3000. Buff it with some compound. Braid it up and show it off. This piece is fantastic. All right, back to the easy cab. Alright folks, I'm back here at the Easy Cab with my little sweetie here. I'm going to lick the hole to clean up a little bit of that blowout. 
It's a little bit easier to notice now that it's somewhat dry. I put just a little bit of coconut oil on this just so you folks could see perhaps more or less what it would look like if I burnished it. It's so tough that even at 280, it's looking fantastic and pretty much finished. Anyway, I'm going to lick the hole with 280, then I'm going to just go ahead and finish her out. Awesome. All right. Alright folks, I thought I was just going to go ahead and knock it out, but I wanted to show you 600 grit and just how shiny and glossy it is. Fantastic. This material is so hard that it looks like a 3000 grit stone at only 600 grit. It does take a little bit longer to get everything right, but let me dry that off for you folks again so you can see. That's dry. 600 grit. Fantastic. Amazing material. Yeah. Alright folks, that is 1200 grit dry. Looks like 14,000. This stone is just ridiculously tough. Fantastic. Alright folks, here's that stone at 3000. That piece of blowout's not bothering me too much, which is why I didn't spend more time digging in deeper to get it out. The cotton sinew that I'm going to use to braid this beautiful stone We'll cover that right up. A lot of that is actually my finger grease. This is so lustrous that it holds onto that really easily. This is such a fantastic, fantastic stone. It takes a fantastic polish. I really enjoy petrified wood or fossilized wood, whatever this is. I really need to go about cutting more. This is, this is straight therapy. Anyway, this is such a pleasure. I'm going to go ahead and take this to the 14,000 grit wheel before I hop over to um, my buffing mop. Then I'll take it inside after I braid it up. Fantastic. Totally over the top. I'm gonna go inside, get out of this mask, braid it up, and show it off. Fantastic. Alright, folks, here's that beautiful piece. Highly finished. It's hard for me to keep my oils off of this bad girl. Fantastic. Braided it up with a cotton sinew and put a lathed brass bead on there to make it adjustable. Fantastic color. I love the cut. I love the blonde up there. This and the petrified um, or fossilized bogwood are definitely some of my most favorite um, stone wood cuts I've ever made. Fantastic. It did take a little bit longer than I'm used to, but it's totally worth it. Maybe I'm just spoiled. Love the blonde. Anyway, thank you for joining me.
I can't believe I haven't made a petrified wood video yet. Outside of the bog wood. It was a lot of fun. I wasn't expecting it to be this much fun. This is Lapidary Dave. Thank you so much for joining me and bearing with me while I uh, go through some new video techniques and such. See you next time.